Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are continuing with the Spring into Clean series. Um, I am doing a smaller area, but a very important one that we all probably overlook from time to time. And it's the medicine bin. Um, I know a lot of people do um, medicine cabinets or they'll have little uh, spots in their kitchen um, cabinetry that they'll, you know, put organize things there and we do have a basket in the kitchen that keeps like the daily use items like allergy meds or vitamins um, or even just that quick grab pain relief um, you know that quick grab of pain reliever that you might need but for everything else that we need um, for long term or that may be first aid and things like that I have an actual bin. This is the Sterilite bin and this one is the 27 quart or 26 liters uh, and it's the clear Sterilite. I love Sterilite containers. You've probably seen them all around so far throughout the series. I use them for everything. Um, they're well priced. I mean, some places are a little bit more than others, but I really like the um, durability of it, and they keep things where they need to stay. So anyhow, let's jump in without further ado and see what we have in our medicine bin. And this actually stays in... Um, my master bedroom in the closet um, and that way it's just out of reach of little hands I have a six year old and um, a newly moving <laughs> six month old so it's just out of sight out of mind when it comes to them and I don't have to worry about them even though my six year old does not get into things she's not that kind of kid <laughs> she's not really interested in anything that's not in her realm of like My Little Pony and <laughs> that sort of stuff so that's a plus but you know her little friends come over and you just never know um, what will happen so anyhow I keep it there for safekeeping and um, we can just go through really quick and see what's in here I try to do this ever so often but of course you know it gets away from you um, because it's just life, you know. You tend to put it in a container and kind of like what to say for the kids. Out of sight, out of mind. And then you forget about it. And like two years later, uh, I still have those meds. <laughs> so anyway, this is also a great uh, way for me to see what we're low on. What I need to pick up. Um, and that sort of thing. So I'm going to just probably just set the music and just start going through. I do have um, this little bin right here. I have two of them actually if need be and I think it could set right down in there um, and I'm thinking about putting things that have open boxes like band-aids. We have about a gajillion and one band-aid so you know I have a six-year-old and that's their thing apparently at that age is band-aids so I always have a lot of those but like loose things and then I thought I could kind of corral them and all all into one you know the little ace bandages the tape that sort of stuff that's loose and then I could just put them in a bin and maybe just pick this bin this little you know container out um, and then use that for first aid instead of having to lug the entire bin out every time we need a couple band-aids and some newest corn. So yeah, that's my idea. If I need the second one, I'll throw that in there. If not, then I guess we'll just kind of see what happens. And you get talking hands today because I don't want to be in front of the camera. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. has like a gajillion of these little <laughs> cups. <laughs> I don't know why I have 
I mean, I know I have so many, but why do I keep so many? That's really the biggest question. It's so ridiculous. a quick little wipe down since it's usually sealed it's not really dirty at all nothing spilled in here so that's great yep now let's see about putting it all back Okay, so one thing I learned um, about like prescription medication or actually over-the-counter, whatever, just meds in general, is that they actually do not go bad, um, contrary to a lot of popular belief. Uh, over time, they can lose their potency, but as far as like, you know, a lot of people look at the date and say, oh man, I bought this and it went bad three months ago or you know it's February now and I bought it in December it went bad in December whatever um, that's not the case it doesn't go bad it just over time and usually the length of time is somewhere between five and ten years where the potency goes down to uh, an amount that you know it's not even worth taking anymore um, so I found that very interesting when I was doing some research a while back on that um, because I know a lot of people tend to um, freak out about like, oh my god, it's been a month over time or three months or six months. Um, I can't take this anymore. So that's not the case. Now, I'm not telling you to take past date medication. I'm not a doctor. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just putting it out there that it's readily uh, known information that you can take it past the sell-by date or the expiry date that they put on there but you know knowledge is power so do with with it what you will I think um, the only exception to that rule would would be like liquid medication as far as like antibiotics I guess I would say I believe that you know there's a certain time frame on those like the amoxicillin and stuff like that because um, there's a reason why they don't mix it until you come and pick it up. Um, so with that stuff, I would definitely watch out with. I wouldn't hang on to that, you know, for the next round. Um, but, and even some prescribed medications, you definitely have to, you know, take time and, and care with that. But I, I definitely think with, like, Tylenol and aspirin and stuff like that, I think you'd probably be okay. Okay, so I'm kind of losing my light, so I'm going to get it moving, but I have these three um, first aid bags that I got while I was couponing a while ago. If y'all remember these, that we got from those Johnson & Johnson coupons back in the day. Um, so I have one that I like to keep packed, or I'm going to keep one packed um, for um, just like on the go travel these are usually like the ones we throw in our bags when we're going traveling and I just make sure that everything's you know good to go clean no issues no spills nothing like that um, I think the one I showed earlier in the case um, this one I think I'll just put this um, I'll just have this one on the ready for if we're going away like on a road trip or something like that because it's got a ton more stuff than we really need and then this one can be my to-go 
and I have this little container, another Sterilite container, and I'm just going to put the like band-aids and Neosporin and stuff like that in that one because it closes down, and then I can just carry that one to whatever room um, we may be having an issue in just to downsize some of the stuff. So um, I'm going to just compact everything a little bit more and then I should just be wrapping it up. So I think I'm just going to open all of the different boxes of band-aids that we have because there's like I said a bunch and just put all those together, grab the Neosporin, um, put one in here and then um, like alcohol wipes um, and that sort of thing. And then in here I'll just put the extra um, first aid items that we need and I can leave it in the bin. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so this is the end result. Like I said, I'm losing light, so bear with me. But um, I have this little container, and that just has like the ace bandages and creams and ointments and um, tape and stuff like that for first aid. And then um, under here is like the larger boxes of. Um, the creams and um, albuterol and stuff for my son that has asthma. I, I like to keep one of these in here because you sometimes need like a Q-tip to put some some ointment or something on. And then I um, also have the first aid kit that I told you guys about. I'm going to use more for traveling. And all of our prescription meds are down there in that one corralled bin. So then I could just put these on top and then this is our bag for trap um for like games and stuff like that so i can just stick that right on in there and um then i can just grab this out when i'm ready to pack my sports bag so that is that and then this smaller bin is just going to be my gra um, grab and go for around the house for just minor first aid. So band-aids, neosporin, gloves, alcohol pads, and I need to put a couple of the um, Q-tips in there. Um, this is all of my trash and recycling. And um, this is um, stuff that I'm gonna get rid of or take to the kitchen, like the pain reliever um, and stuff like that. And that'll go in the kitchen bin that I did in the last couple of videos if you saw that one and um, yeah this is what I'm going to get rid of over here and then I was able to make a quick little list of stuff that I need like alcohol pads, neosporin, gloves, those are the type of things that I noticed that I was out of so yeah thanks for joining us today for this quick little video um, hope you're enjoying the series I hope to get around to more parts of the house um, smaller areas that you know we don't usually um, do very often but if you you're liking the series and you like the video content that we bring out please enjoy please remember to like share and subscribe give us a thumbs up 
and just let us know that you enjoyed it. Come back again and see us next time, and we hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank you.